Why do we do this? It's not a case where we like to look at a bunch of charts. I don't really care to look at a ton of charts, but I want to look at the charts with the time that I've given to be efficient. And here's a fact for you. It's not an opinion. It's a fact. Leading groups produce leading stocks. Go where the money's going. Biotech. In, this is the 200 day. Stay away from the 200 day. Stay away from everything that's below a falling 50 day. There's nothing to do with it. Stay away from biotech. Done. Cloud computing falling. Really lost its leadership. Was really great through here. Lost its leadership. Stay away. Electric vehicles. Let me refresh this. Possible bounce right here. What do you have here? A higher low. This low is higher than this low. It's above the rising 50 day. Good volume on that bar. Electric vehicles. Something to watch. Dow Jones Internet, lagging. Below the 200-day, be careful. Internet stocks. IBD50, still lagging. That's not good. We need to see this start to turn. All right? That's something pretty important. Right here, gold miners, stay away from gold. That's simple. Don't overthink it. Stay away from the gold miners. Stay away from the junior gold miners. Stay away. Gold is going sideways, but it's below the 200-day. One plus is it's got some volume. This needs some real power. You're not going to see this chart in any chart book saying, this is what you look for to buy. So just need some power to get it through there. Cybersecurity's lagging. Stay away from it. Biotechnology, stay away from it. Nothing's happening there. Online retail, really lagging. I mean, look at this. Let me refresh this just to make sure. I think we're missing a day here. There we go. It's even worse. Look at this. What does this say? You better be careful with online retailers. There's nothing good there. IGV. Picking up a little bit, but it's still below the moving averages. It needs to show a little life. Have you seen the theme? There's not a lot of power in the markets here. In all sectors, be careful. U.S. Medicine, kind of hanging in here. Goes across these tops. You could click this up and see what are the leading stocks in that group. There you go. Mid-cap, still pr pretty much underperforming. Home builders, look at this move. And it's been strong. What could you do? Look for home building stocks. And that works. Continued onwards, industrial. Look at this. This owns a lot of the max list stocks. That's hanging in, isn't it? Hmm. Owns a lot of the big tech names. There you go. You think we're involved with any big tech names? I'll name two of them, Apple and Microsoft. There you go. Small cap, lagging, be careful. Airline stocks, lagging, nothing going on there. Regional banks, nothing. It, needs to, it has a higher low, but it needs to show some life. Not a lot of power. Biotech, another biotech. Stay away. Mid-cap, it's performing a little bit better, but it needs to start lifting off the 50-day. Be careful with mid-cap. Uh, this meta, okay, chop it around here a little bit. Just be careful. Oil services, starting to pick up, but it's still below the 200-day. Be careful. Online retail. What does that tell you? I mean, look at this. So stay away. Be careful with these. All right, infrastructure hanging in here, forming a little shelf right here. Look at some infrastructure stocks. By the way, on any of these, all you have to do is tick, click on the ticker symbol and you can find out their top 10 holdings. Software, this was a leading sector for a long time, okay? And now it's lost leadership. Be careful with software. QLD, gotta refresh this real quick, okay? There we go. Slight bounce off the moving averages. Takes out this top. That would be really positive for the NASDAQ 100. Same thing's true for QQQ. Retailing's starting to pick up a little bit. Look at this. Need some volume. Maybe look at some retailers. There we go. Another cloud computing. Lay, leave it alone. Silver, stay away. I mean, folks, this is the 200 day. What does it tell you? Stay away. Done with it. Steel, no power here. Stay away. Semiconductors. It's dipped a little bit on Friday, but still above the moving averages. Maybe look at some semiconductors. There you go. Another semiconductor ETF. Look at some semiconductors. S&P 500. Hanging in there. Look what it did on Friday. Starting to lift off. Look at the leading some of the leading S&P 500 stocks. That helps us. SSO, the leveraged one. Similar situation. Solar. Nothing going on here. Let me refresh this real quick. There you go. Solar. What's this say? It's dead. Leave it alone for now. And it's been dropping. Small cap, please know I'm not quote unquote slamming any group or any stock. No, I'm just pointing out. Let's look for strength and let's avoid weakness. It really helps us. Uranium, nothing's good. Oils, here we go. Oil, maybe, but it's below the 50-day. 
needs to show some really power. Fell on really heavy volume. Fell on really heavy volume. Tells you to be careful. There we go. That simple. Aerospace and defense. No. There's nothing there. Nothing. Home builders. Hanging in. That's pretty good to see. What does that say? You could look at some home builders. And you could have been looking at some home builders. Look at the trend. Good to see. Materials. Hanging in okay. Not bad. Energy. Going sideways. Not bad. You could look at some of these. Financials needs to get through the 50-day no real power at this point in time. Industrials are hanging in there. Not bad to see. Technology. Look at this. Look at this. What's that been telling you? Hey, technology ain't a bad place to be. Yeah, we've been wrapped up in technology. We've owned Apple a long time. Look at this. There you go. Consumer staples. Not bad looking. XLP. Go across these tops right here. There might be a couple of leading stocks in this sector that could be a candidate for a breakout. There we go. Utilities are hanging in, not too bad. Consumer discretionary is hanging in. We're about done here. Metals and mining lagging, leave it alone. Oil and gas needs to show some power. Get through that 50-day, but not bad looking here either. Retail, look at this, in one second. I'm staying away from the retail stocks, done. That's it. Don't overthink it. Maybe it's going to bounce here. Why play the maybe game when we see other sectors that are strong now? Stack the deck. Software, stay away. Another software ETF. And back to the top. And go. Biotech. Stay away. And then we take a look at the max list. And this really helps us. So let's just take it from the top. Apple closing super strong. Look at the trend. Here's the valuable lesson with this. A clean and simple base entry and a clean and simple trend pays more than all the figuring out of what do I do? Where do I get in? Where do I get out? You sell some, you let it ride. And we are. That's simple. Amazon. Amazon on Friday with some of the stuff lifting falls on a pickup in volume. There's no leadership at this point in time. Now, can that change this week? Yes. But do you need to really dwell on this right now? No, not really. Okay. Except one thing. And I'll share this with you. And it's very simple. A higher low setup. This is one of our great setups that we use at Mission Winners. This low is higher than this low. Could it base here a couple of days and then start to lift off? Sure it could. And you know what? We'll watch it. You can say, okay, high or low, I have to remember that. In a minute, you'll know why you have to remember it. Alibaba, there's really nothing happening here. It's below the moving averages. Leave it alone. Baidu, similar situation. No power here. Leave it alone. Don't overthink it. I, I, I really encourage you. Don't do that. Facebook, there's really not much happening here that's special. Okay? Nothing to really do with it. Google, forming a little base up here. Look at that. That's nice. Look at this. This down on the 200 day. Google, above the moving averages, hanging in up here. That's good to see. Goldman Sachs needs to take this out, but there's really nothing special here with that at all. MasterCard's lifting. They're just, it's going, but there's no entry here at this point in time. Microsoft, see that little base right there? See that clean and simple base right there? See that clean, simple shelf right there? I said that too many times, didn't I? Okay, we'll stop that. Anyway, I lifted across here. Here's a great lesson for all of us. This is the daily chart. You can say, wow, I guess pushing through there, if it's doing it with volume, that'd be good. See that line? There you go. See that volume? Look at the volume pushing through that line. It's the same line, the same price to the penny. You know what they did? I always say this, emission winners, people talk with their mouths and vote with their pocketbooks. Folks, they voted. There you go. And they voted into the close. Will it continue? I don't know, but it's a start. More times than not, this works. Isn't that the edge that we need to use? Find a, a couple of clean and simple patterns that work more times than they don't and stick with them. Netflix, there's nothing there. Contrast that with back here and here. That looks good, doesn't it? And right here, nothing. Maybe a higher low, but eh, it's a stretch. We'll have to see. No leadership there. Square. Below all the moving averages and the moving averages are falling. Done. Move on. Don't overthink it. It's done. Also, very important maxim. I'll say it again. The air is better above the rising 200 day. NVIDIA. This has a potential higher low. Now I have to share this with you. I mentioned higher low a couple of different times. What's that? Oh, Pat, this low is higher than this low. Maybe if it takes out those tops, that would be really good. We'd have to watch that. 
Oh, look, it's an inside bar on a slide pickup and volume. Hmm, looks like they're buying it. Maybe if it takes out these tops right here, that could be good. Oh, gee whiz, it did it. There you go. That's it. And it ran for 100 points. That was called out and some VIPs owned it. Tesla, higher low, bouncing off the rising 50 day. That's good to see. What does it need? It needs volume. Here's the hourly or 30 minute chart. See the little base right there? You can see it better on the hourly. Look at that. Little shelf. I'll draw it for you. I'm like a kid with crayons. Here we go. Don't use crayons on your computer monitor. It really causes a problem. Here we go. See that nice shelf right there? What do we need to see it to? Go across that line with a big volume pickup. Now, let's go back to the daily. It's a bounce off the 50 day. It's a little choppy here. It's a little loose. And other stocks in the group have gotten hit. There's some serious distribution on this bar. There's some serious distribution on this bar. There's some serious distribution on this bar. And here too, be careful, all right? Just, it's gonna need some real power. Don't get, uh, don't get fancy with it. Twitter, there's nothing there. Visa, there's nothing there. Clean and simple, clean and simple entries pay, which is why we still own this one and why we bought this one right there. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top, and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.